Hey everyone, thank you so much for coming back to my lecture series. It's how to make reading fun and educational for children in the mini series part five, how to help the child who just hates books. And again, this is per common uh, questions that I've had from a lot of families, how to help the child who doesn't wanna be anywhere near a book. They don't wanna flip the pages, they scream when they see the book. So these are some more techniques to try to help you to get the child to the point of fear or distaste, to get them to the point where they actually want to play around with the book and to read, and that's what we like. So for those of you who haven't had a chance to get to know me, my name is Liz. I am the owner of Speech Language Pathologist at Healthy Speech Solutions. It's an online speech therapy practice designed to help children and adults in speech therapy in North Carolina and Florida. So here's another tidbit. If you've listened to all the other uh, that I had in the lecture series, series is create an arts and crafts project with the book, okay? So here it's not about the book. Well, yeah, it's about the book because we want the child to read. But to the child, it's not about the book. It's about reading of something that the child really likes. Like if the child really, really likes dogs, reading a book that has the dogs in it, dogs in it, and then maybe asking the child to try to do an extension from that book and maybe want to draw a dog, you know? Maybe you are reading something about transportation and the child really likes airplanes. Why not make a paper airplane? I know the child really likes Care Bears. Maybe you have a coloring book that happens to have Care Bears in it. And then afterwards you can have the child color Care Bears. Make it fun, make it an extension. So it turns into a whole activity where you get to read and then you get to have a cool project afterwards. Is that cause effect? relationship. You're making it fun. It's not about reading anymore. It's about the experience. And that experience is what's going to get the child to want to read. Change how you read a book. He's kind of scary for the record. So I'm just going to stand right here. So change how you read. So change how you read the book. Don't be scary like this guy behind me. Okay. But we want you to be fun. We want you to have enthusiasm. How are you today? That's how you're reading the book to the child. The child's gonna be like, hey, time to go to bed. This is really boring. Get me out of here. I wanna go play outside or I'm gonna go play with my Legos, okay? Pretend that you are a character. So if you're reading a story that has different characters, if you have a girl, if you have a boy, if you have a mermaid, if you have a monster, if you have a dinosaur, it doesn't matter who's in the character, who's a, who's a character in the book, change how you say it. So then it's like, how are you today? I'm doing fine. And just change that vocal quality intonation and just really get into it and embellish it. And the child will think it's hysterical. Maybe one day you actually read the book. Maybe another day you just talk about the pages. It doesn't have to be exactly the same. Because if you do exactly the same, some children that works well, but for the child who hates reading, you work with the book the way that the child at that moment is in the mood for. And do you think that child is going to really want to sit down and really want to read and take that as an opportunity to read? If you think they're just going to want you to act silly, then act silly and have the different types of characters. Play around with it. Read the situation. You know your child better than anyone. And don't read everything that's on the page, okay? A common, common mistake I hear from parents is that there's too many words on the page and my child can't sit through the entire page or the entire book to read. What do I do? I read two sentences in and then the child loses interest and we're done with the book. Who cares how much writing is on the page? I don't care. If there's too much writing on the page and if the child can only sit through a couple, maybe one or two sentences at a time, then we're not reading the book. <laughs> Bottom line, we're not reading the book. We're gonna talk about the pages. Maybe read a sentence here and there in the book and then slowly increase the amount of sentences you're reading, but you have to watch your child's body language. If your child is liking really fidgety and like not interested, you're not reading anymore. You're talking about the pages. You're going to maybe get really into it with your body. You're going to change your intonation and your voice. Like we talked about, like what we talked about earlier in this lecture. It's the goal is you want the child to want to sit in front of a book as long as possible. Slowly make it difficult by increasing the sentences, but I'm not saying you have to read everything on the page. <laughs> Okay, you can look at a picture of a dog in a doghouse. You can look at a picture of a dinosaur in a tree and 
If you haven't read the story, you can make up your own story using the pictures. If you have read the story, then you have the benefit of having had it memorized that you can retell the story with your own words. And if the child knows the story, if you've gotten to the point where the child actually is enjoying starting to enjoy to read and is starting to understand and retell stories, then have the child look at the pictures and retell the story to you. But that's for someone who's a little more advanced, who is starting to become more accepting of books and starts to want to read now. So I hope everyone has found my lecture series to be really helpful. And I really hope if for some parents are listening to this and are really are really thankful that this is helping their child to want to read. For the child who just hates reading, reading is just so much fun. Sometimes we need just a little push just to have the child see that reading it can be fun if you want, if you make it fun. So if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me at liz at healthyspeechsolutions.com. Have a good day. Bye.